everybody got a brand new tool belt for Christmas. <laughs> Come on, show it off now a little bit here. That was that was the Christmas present. Christmas Me and my wife are putting a bunch of kids through college, so I don't have a lot of money to donate. And when this whole thing down here happened with uh, the uh, Superstorm Sandy, I wanted to give something. So we gave a few hundred dollars to uh, the Red Cross, but I felt like I wasn't doing my share. And then uh, when my buddy called and told me what he was doing down here, I thought it was a ter terrific thing, terrific opportunity for me to give something when I wouldn't be able to give otherwise. So uh, I've been coming down here on the weekends, and uh, it's a great group of guys. I really enjoy doing it, and it seems like the people uh, that we're working for are getting a tremendous uh, satisfaction. satisfaction. We are here today down in Barnegat at a gentleman's house by the name of Captain Doc. Uh, this is probably the seventh house we've worked on. This store all started with a bunch of fishing friends uh, that fish with me on a regular basis. One of the older gentlemen uh, in his late 70s lost his home and we all decided to go down there and jump on it with him because he didn't have enough insurance to make it happen. Long story short, he moved back in last week and we've been continuing to roll. The reason why we've been able to do this is really because of Ron Rack. I went to him and asked him, can I run this through the hospital? Because quite honestly, the liabilities are gigantic. Uh, and he told me yes. So I want to say thank you to Mr. Rack, because without that, nothing would be going on right now. Uh, and he has greatly impacted all these people's lives, even though he has never met them. Uh, this gentleman right here has very limited funding. He's 82 years old. But this group has been awesome. This is really kind of the core group that has been helping me. There's a few people missing today, but it's been every weekend since really uh, the third week after the storm that we've been down here on a roll. Uh, I, I equate this to the mission at St. Peter's that everybody that comes into St. Peter's comes to comes in the doors with one thing in common. They come there because of hope. They hope that their loved one's going to be okay. They hope that everything's going to be fine when they, when they get operated on. And we provide that, an, that hope and avenue to travel through uh, great compassion, uh, outstanding quality and care. And all we've done here is really transported that mission to 60 miles down the parkway to Ocean County. And we have been able to once again provide hope for these people who have come out uh, after S Superstorm Sandy with really nothing. Uh, they lost everything. We, we've gutted this house here and piled everything this guy owned on the front lawn. And yesterday, when he was here with us, as we started to put this back together, he really is seeing he has hope again. He knows he's going to get back in here. And that's a very powerful thing. We're going to get you back. See, two weeks ago you didn't think, right? No way. No, we're going to have you there. At the end of this week, you're going to be in good shape. We've got a team coming this week. We're going to get you painted up. And here we are on a Sunday. And anybody that wants to come and help us, please let me know. We could use all your help. It's been a great experience. It's a little exhausting, but the reward is just tremendous. And we've all been able to grab that reward through the smiles of an 82-year-old that is uh, looking for us to provide that avenue of hope for him to travel and it's been really great so I own an insurance agency in Madison and I deal with the storm devastation Monday through Friday with claims from people at the shore people in Morris County so me I'm living this seven days a week the satisfaction I get out of participating in this program is that we're able to see results we're able to volunteer our time. I can't say I'm volunteering my expertise because I'm an insurance guy, but you wouldn't know it from today. <laughs> uh, I'm, a, I'm really happy to help. Uh, this individual that we have uh, today, we're working on, uh, Captain Doc, I've known him for 10, 15 years. He's a dear man that is in desperate shape and needs help. Uh, he would never be able to put himself back in a position that he's at today if it weren't for the help of this program. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to be part of the team, and I'll continue to work until I can't get out of bed on Monday morning. <laughs> we had a phone call from an elderly couple, good friends of ours actually that fish with us, and they were in trouble, so we came down to help. 
turned into a really big project, a lot of hard work, but it all worked out well and we were really happy to do it. Now we're on a mission to help many other people too. It's fun. The crew we're working with is great. Good friends, good people, and a lot of good volunteers. I have a, a construction background. I did quite a bit of construction before I moved back out to New Jersey. And um, after the storm, I realized that all the money that I tried donating and all the rest of it wasn't really getting down into the people's hands that actually needed it. So I figured this was one way that I could definitely help out in a way that you know, really helps people that truly really need it. Um, we have a great group of guys here. Uh, everybody's pitching in, helping out any chance they can. So we're just going to keep going until, uh, until we help out as many people as we can. Hopefully, um, hopefully we get some people back into their houses soon. Um, great friend Bob started this with one house. Now it's turned into... I think they're working on nine houses right now, just down here doing what we can to help people that need it. It's been a great thing. You know, um, I work in an office all day. I don't get much time out here. I have very little construction experience, if any at all. Um, you know, this is the tool belt Bob gave me for uh, Christmas here. Uh, <laughs> it's a little joke, but uh, it's been a, uh, a great time here doing all this stuff and really actually seeing a result by helping people. I've never done a construction thing where you see a house absolutely destroyed before we tear everything out. It's a heartbreaking thing, throwing everybody's stuff on the street, and then before you know it, walls are going back up, floors are coming back in, heat's back on, electric's on, and the people are moving back in, and it's just been a great story. My husband um, is working with one of the volunteers, and he indicated that there's some help that needed to be, uh, that could be used, and um, he told me about it, and I was all up for it do some volunteering with my church and this was just a great way um, I don't even look at it as work it feels wonderful it's a good hurt on Monday morning and um, right now there's really no place I'd rather be it's very hard to put in words the feelings of appreciation I have for this whole crew that have dedicated and donated their time to rebuild my home which was devastated and Looks like in a few weeks I'm going to be back in my home and, and how do you express appreciation for that when you had to relocate to some other place?